Hello, everybody. I'm sorry for the, you know, sudden introduction and just saying hi. Um, my Xbox is off. Everything is off. I'm getting ready to go in the work. And I kind of just wanted to mention to you guys that, well, the most recent update to the game, artillery readjustments, ton of other stuff, I, I find myself kind of just stuck. I, I don't know what to say about it. It is just... There's all these things going on, and they're not making any motions to actually fix stuff. Instead, they basically buff artillery. If you guys disagree with me, let me explain. I hit my mic. I'm sorry about that. It's probably really loud to hear. But let's say artillery. Okay, let's talk about fire rate, fire rate, and damage. Um... 18 second, 17 second reloads in some of those big boy artillery rounds. Not to mention they're doing 15, they do 1200, 1100 damage a shot. Or they're doing 900 a shot. You guys remember whenever the equalizer first released? That thing was cancer. You're running the hard solid gun. Now imagine the equalizer with 11 meters of splash. And... A faster reload than what it was when it first released? Sky Cancer. It's a hashtag by this point. It's literally become one. So, in the past couple of days, if my Xbox is on, I would show you guys some stuff. But it is clearly off right now. There, there's no audio. There's nothing. It's just me right here. I'm getting ready for work. I got my socks. And, yeah. Um. So, a couple weeks ago, I actually uh, found out what the update was going to be. Um, through my leaks and the super tests, but out of respect for war gaming, I didn't share it early. I was waiting for them to drop it, and then I was going to do something about it, but I never did. Kind of just sat around and did my own thing, and, uh, I just, I started to play other games. Um, I started to play Overwatch. I looked at the competitive community in that game and realized, I'm going to be honest, I don't hold a candle to any of them. Like, if I'm lucky, I'll hit gold inside their competitive and that's like, if I'm lucky, or at least that's the way I feel. There's a chance I could hit higher, but I, I, I'm not even going to try it. Um, yeah, this essentially marks the end. I, I think I'm done. I've put a lot of time in the past two years. I've, I've spent a lot of time inside of our custom games lobby doing testing with randoms at a group posts or with my friends to be able to go check out millimeter sizes on guns that they released that they had. BS ratings on Def Chariot. It's a 122, by the way. It's not a 130, even though it's got the alpha and the same penetration as the uh, Skoda. Um, the nerfing of premium tanks like the Caliban or moving advanced reload um, and then not giving anyone a refund after they nerfed it, even though it was a fundamental part of their tank. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure I removed my Caliban review from YouTube because my entire build revolved around that one mechanic of the tank and i'm not gonna lie to people and tell them you know my reviews this and then you buy the tank thinking that you can get advanced reload no i will remove that content okay i'll drop it off the face of the earth because i'm not gonna lie to people okay and with the most recent buff to artillery same dpm <laughs> faster reload less damage thing is they have more opportunity to fire not just that, they buffed the HP pool of artillery. I had a loss today that turned into a one versus one, uh, a tier eight heavy tank with 400 hit points against a tier 10 artillery. You can imagine how that went. He pulled over the hill, he had a HE loaded, he put one into him, and then uh, artillery splashed him for like, uh, what was it, like 200? It was the 261, by the way. And then he put another shell down range. He put another, he was inside the King Tiger, by the way. He just, um, he, then with the new alpha glitch that's going on, we're shooting 240 alpha rather than the 320 where it's supposed to be. Weird glitch. By the way, if you guys are catching this the day it releases, go look at the Dreadnought 2, look at its premium run damage. Uh, yeah, some weird stuff going on. But the thing is, this King Tiger was unable to kill the artillery in two shells. Instead, he died. He got two shots off at the arty, got splashed, wasn't able to ever get his third. Missed his third, and then got nuked. Killed. Thing is, is that on prior patch, he would have probably outright died, or 
he would have killed it in the first two shots. So for me, artillery with the HP buff plus the rate of fire buff, they are now able to fight in the front row. And I, I think it's dumb. It's a really bad turn from the game. And I, I, uh, how to put this last time I looked at my YouTube, the day that I got this information, my mouse video I posted said eight days ago. I haven't looked at my YouTube since then. I don't even know how long it's been since I released my last video. But I'll tell you now, I might come back. I might not. I've been waiting on the artillery readjustment, artillery nerfs for a really long time. The first one was disappointing. 3D audio. Okay, 3D audio and enhanced tracers. That, that was a slap to the face, in my opinion. A massive slap. And it's just dumb. It's super dumb. And then rather than taking actual feedback from people that actually have strong opinions about balance of the game, instead they have this little group that they've been relying on for like five years, the same people, by the way, for five years, that are the ones in the super test right now. So you're not changing out the opinions. And there is one person that stood out that uh, he hates my guts now. Okay, and I haven't talked to him in a long time. He asked a hard question, and one of my leaks screenshotted it and sent it to me. He asked about if people wanted a refund for the artilleries that they bought that were premiums. Dude, by the way, he he doesn't like me anymore because we got in a fight, yada, yada. I, I don't even care. But, yeah, I, I guess I can say that I'm essentially done for a while. Um, I paid to buy the season pass outright. I played the new 780. Uh, it's a nice tank, but the sound of the engine at a standstill, it's got a hiss to it and it's making my ear go crazy. And I mean, you guys got to think if you don't know this, I play with studio grade headphones. These are the SRH 1540s. Okay. I play with studio grade. That's all I play with anymore because honestly, I bought a microphone and I'm all like, I want some nice headphones. So my bonus hit and these things got carbon fiber. They're so nice. But this is something I've been dreading, is telling you guys this, because I spent two years on World of Tanks. Two years. And in those two years, I've, I built a community, I made new friends, I made a lot of friends, actually, and there's a lot of things that I've done in the course of that two years. Extra stuff getting done, just a ton of things. A lot of cool moments, a lot of really meme things. I joined the competitive league. I got labeled as really high-end player. I wanted to improve my skill in the game. And now, it, it just feels like all that time that I put in, all the time and effort that I put in feels wasted. That's two years. And then looking at other games, thinking, well, I, I can just swap games thing is it's going to take me a long time to get up in the mechanics of the game everything else so it's like what what is there to do go retro i looked at a couple of achievements of games i've played in the past and to find out it's been 10 years since they released yeah i i understand that i'm almost 25 but dude I'm, I'm starting to feel old over here whenever it comes down to gaming i i wonder how blade feels he probably played pong whenever it released but yeah that's kind of where i'm standing um, I might do more content or I, I might be done. This is just to let you guys know that I am, what to say, offended, burnt, um, disappointed. It, it just it, disappointed, I think would be the best thing to, to say. It, it sucks. It sucks that the game I liked, liked went through all this hardship and I decided to stick by it. And the only thing they did was give us the finger in the end. Every single time. Not to mention the Torvong, they released it as a black tank. Uh, the, the TL7 released it as a black tank for a week. Two brand new tanks to the game and you released them as black tanks for a week. Now they're gone. And not to mention, I'm going to have to buy the regular version of the tank because I hate tanks that I can't change the skin on. Not to mention, I have to buy transparent skin for the tank to get the camouflage benefit, even though I can't even choose what color I want. 
yeah, that, that's my problem with it. They're getting greedy. That that's what it is. I would I would rather play Overwatch or Mech Warrior or I I have no idea what I'm gonna do now. But I'm done for a while. I'm burnt burnt out. And not really struggling, but I have all this new equipment coming in. I've got a new camera coming in. I've got a new microphone coming in. And I'm done. Well, at least I'm going to sound good inside the party whenever I talk to my friends. But that's about it. I'll look good inside my selfies, I guess. Even though I never post on social media. You guys, these two years have been awesome. For those of you who have been sticking around since the beginning, stay followed. There might be a chance I might come back. Who knows? I don't. I'm kind of just tired of it. And really burnt out. We, we try, we try, we try, we try. And they look towards 1% of the player base. Rather than the large majority. Saying that 60% of people are going to hate this. There's nothing we can do about that. Man up. Deal with it. Take the hit. And then make something good. That's what I did. Now I have a great job. Make good money. Got good friends. And I love my family. Take the hit. Try your hardest. If you guys are struggling on tanks too, pretty sure a good majority of my past content is fine, but uh, who knows, might, might be out of date here in the next couple of weeks after they change a ton of equipment and remove six cents from the game and make it, hopefully they make six cents like a permanent feature, that'd be cool, because it's just a wasted perk by this point. You guys, it's been nice, have fun, I'm going to work here in like three minutes, just awful monologuing, 12 minutes of it, yeah, I don't know, I haven't streamed in like two weeks either, so, yep, you guys have fun.